Hello everyone, I'm Sean Boyd here in the Cal OES newsroom in Mather, California. As you may have heard, uh, Cal OES sent a contingent of 35 plus team members to Puerto Rico to assist in the response and recovery efforts there. We sent one of our own uh, public information officers there to assist with communication efforts. Uh, she is Monica Vargas and is standing by live right now for us there in Puerto Rico. Monica, what is the latest? What can you tell us? Give us an update. Hey, Sean. So the big news of the day is that yesterday, President signed a major de disaster declaration for six of the areas that were hardest hit by the earthquake. So those are mainly in southern Puerto Rico, and they were identified in the major disaster declaration that was requested by the governor of Puerto Rico. Terrific. So speaking of the shelters, how are the residents there, the folks who live there and have been affected by the earthquakes, how are they coping with not only the shelter situation, but also uh, those folks who haven't gone to the shelters? Are they still outside or have they gone back inside? So there is a massive operation here with five base camps throughout the areas that were impacted. And these are, um, these are large base camps which are for the those that have been displaced or affected or still have some anxiety returning back home. But these have all the services you would need while you're displaced. They have showers, food, entertainment for kids, medical services, and areas for your pets. Where I'm standing is right in between a base camp that has a capacity of almost 2,000 and a current shelter that has about 900 residents in it right now. And those residents are going to get transferred to the base camp right across the street. What is the mood there? What are you sensing? Has uh, any kind of optimism sort of sunk in yet or are they still uh, sort of in shell shock, if you will? You know, with the major disaster declaration that, that obviously opens up more resources to come and help this area and the residents and the government, but just all around you see a lot of people, a lot of people coming together and moving supplies, moving resources. Just on the freeway, when we were returning from another part of the area where we were with some of the safety assessment teams from California, we saw a convoy of vehicles from the Department of Veteran Affairs. And we think we also saw some out of state team members that had just arrived. So all around you are resources, people and help for everyone who has been displaced. Have you had a chance to speak with any of the other uh, Cal OES deployments, uh, some of those folks to find out how things are going for them? I have, everyone is very busy, but very uh, happy busy because we know that we're using everything that we've learned and experienced in California for the greater good of everyone here in Puerto Rico. We were just with the teams who were in a town, an area called Laja, which is about an hour or so away from where we currently are. And they were inspecting homes and schools, public areas, and a church and city hall as well. So been with various members of the California team, everyone doing a lot of great work with their local and state counterparts. Okay, very good. Final question here. What do you anticipate coming up over the weekend? Well, coming up over the weekend, we're going to keep doing what we're doing, standing here ready and uh, just coming in ready to work and help as as Puerto Rico needs us. And we are um, all in good spirit, working hard, moving around to different parts of the state and just ready to work and help out where it's needed. All right, Monica, thanks very much. We appreciate all the hard work you and the incident support team are doing out there. Please convey our thanks to them and uh, good luck come uh, this weekend. And we'll hope to talk to you again on Monday. For all of us here at Cal OES headquarters in Mather, California, I'm Sean Boy. Take care, be safe, and have a great weekend. We'll talk to you soon.